storm Anna may be gone now, but she might have washed out whatever plans you had this past weekend. But could it also put a damper on some of your summit picnic traditions too? One local farmer says yes, and WWAY's Helen Holt has a story, and it's new this morning. That was your 4th of July watermelon cantaloupe crop right there. Fruit that might not be able to be enjoyed this summer. Riding around with farmer Keith Ludlam on his farm near Supply as he shows just how heavy rain from Tropical Storm Anna caused him a lot of headaches. Yesterday afternoon this ditch was completely up here. And I can't even pull my pickup truck out and check it. So we're set back another week and a half. Rain risking the crop he's best known for. They don't call me matter steak for nothing. There's a name for it. We are tomato farmers. Due to all the torrential rain this past weekend, that set the farmer back two weeks before they're able to plant their next tomato crop because conditions for workers are really difficult. Too difficult to work until the fields dry out. In 54 years of um, my family farm, we've never took out crop insurance. We've never uh, asked for no benefits or nothing. We pretty much just rely on blessings and grace. Despite all this, Ludlam says he's glad the storm wasn't too bad. But nothing we can't work through. Because it's all about making his customers happy. I would rather work harder in a 104 acre field to make sure somebody had a cold watermelon on the beach with their family that has been shopping with us over generations, over generations, generations. That's where I get my satisfaction out of farming. In Supply, Helen Holt, WWAY News Channel 3. Ludlam says he comes from a long line of produce farmers. He says storms like Anna help him to become a better farmer.